Good evening. It's been a little slice of paradise for 150 years, but tonight the historic Hawaiian town of Lahina is wiped out. The fire devastation across the island of Maui is staggering, with at least 55 people dead and another number of great concern, 1,000 still missing. Street after street of paradise lost. The historic town of Lahaina reduced to rubble, twisted metal and smoking ruins. Homes, apartments, restaurants all levelled. It's heartbreaking. It's totally heartbreaking and I mean it looks like a war zone. Lives and livelihoods taken, the pain and anger is raw. Still get dead bodies in the water floating and I feel like we're not getting the help we need. Oh my God. And for those returning to see the devastation, this heartbreak. It's tragic. A lot of people I know lost everything down here and um, yeah, we're just all trying to figure out how to uh, to get back to any kind of a normal way of life. New footage shows the sheer force inside the firestorm. Flames raining down on Front Street, which was the heartbeat of this historic town. This right here is the scene of so much tragedy. This is Front Street in Lahaina, where two days ago the fire tore through. You can see behind almost everywhere you look, there is just utter devastation. Homes that have been burnt to the ground, trees that have been bent and crumbled and crashed amid the heat of the fire, signs, metal, twisted. And these cars, these cars we understand were driven here by people who were fleeing for their lives as the fire raced closer to the water's edge. They got out of their cars to jump into the water to try and save themselves. And what's left behind is the twisted metal, the tragedy, and just so much devastation. Australian Natalie Smith and her family lost their home and everything they have. But tonight, they are safe. She escaped with fire on both sides of the road. Uh, she thought she wasn't going to make it. A passenger captured this bird's eye view of the blaze. Satellite images show what's left. We are going to need to house thousands of people. Thick black smoke just in the property next to ours. Do you know if your house is still standing? No, I don't think it is. 1,700 homes gone and the death toll still climbs. We don't know how many people we have dead. When this is all said and done, we just don't know. Today, locals wanting to return to their homes were turned away. I tried to warn a lot, as many people as I could. We tried. Tourists, the lifeblood of the island's economy, have been told to get out, but there are bottlenecks at the airport at least for those who could find their way there. People need medication. We have pregnant women in the line over there. Resources here are stretched to the limit. If you could send us more help, national aid, that's all we need. The US president answering, declaring Hawaii a disaster area, fast-tracking help. Every asset we have will be available. All Australians, when you look at the images that we've seen overnight from Maui, it brings back a lot of very difficult memories. Aid is coming from the kindness of locals and familiar faces. Shampoo. Oh, wow. Diapers, That's great. Sheets. Much of Lahaina is gone, but tonight the 150-year-old banyan tree, a landmark and symbol of Maui's culture, is badly singed but still stands as those who survived vow to regroup, rebuild and recover. Might take a few years, but yeah. In Maui, Jonathan Kersley, Nine News. Well, let's take you live now to US correspondent Jonathan Kersley, who's in Maui for us. Jono, the focus there seems to be shifting from rescue to recovery. Yeah, it does now. That death toll has climbed again, sadly, today to 55, and it could climb again tomorrow. There are still authorities on the ground in the town of Lahaina, about 20 minutes or so drive behind me. They are pouring through wreckage. They are sadly looking for victims, but also ways that they can help. Tomorrow, this roadblock behind me is expected to reopen. That will allow the hundreds of people we have seen lining up here today, residents, to get back into the area to see whether or not their homes still stand. They've been waiting for days. Tomorrow, their day could come but what they could find could ultimately be heartbreaking. We saw firsthand today the devastation that's been left behind by these fires but we've also seen the extraordinary Hawaiian spirit that has been on show. Strangers offering help to one another whether it's donations dropped at church halls or at uh, assistance centres or being driven in on cars and trucks or taken in by boat into these disasters areas. 
Hawaiians are binding themselves together in a time of extraordinary need. The governor has said it will cost billions of dollars and take years to rebuild. The locals here say they're happy to wait, but they want their slice of paradise back, Mark. Jonathan Kersley on Maui for us. Thank you.